Hello everybody. So I finally got the rear bumper and bumper guards that I was talking about, but like anything else, you have to be careful. And this one's on me for not asking for more pictures, thinking that it was original, right? I mean, look at how beautiful it looks. It's like brand spanking new. And the bumper guards is, the bumper guards are really what I was after on this purchase <clears throat> they wanted what was it four three fifty three eighty something like that for these and i was like wow that's a good deal because the bumper guards alone being original are worth that right they're worth that much at least and so <clears throat> uh, what i should have done was and I didn't, and I kind of kicked myself. And I hope this helps you guys out in the future when you're looking at bumper guards, what's original and what's not. So with the bumper guards, this is an original bumper guard that I did in a previous uh, video, right? Take a look at this, and I'm gonna show you a stamp, if I got the right one. There's a stamp that you'll find at the top of this, let me grab my, light here, then I can show you. Okay. See where there's that L? And then right there, there's this round little circle. See that? That's a stamp. Well, <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I know, I mean, looking at the condition of this, this one looks pretty worn and and does match up with my original rear bumper guards. This is the one I cleaned up again, like I mentioned. And this is what I want, you, want to show you. So you don't do what I did. Look how clean this looks, right? I was like, oh, this looks way too clean, too nice to, to look original. And then compared the two look at that yeah don't get me wrong they're pretty identical but then you got to take a look at this this hugs the bumper so if we're looking this is the left side we would put this one on this side <clears throat> and see how that covers that piece there Nice and clean. And since we know that this is to be the left, there you go, it just goes straight down here, like that, which is not bad. I mean, it's a good looking repop. <laughs> and the pump bumper itself too is a, is a repop. Even at that, it doesn't look like it wants to fit it right. There it is. Okay. Now there's a good fit. Clean. This is what you want to look for. This piece. So, I mean, I'll get my money back selling it. Someone will want to buy it. It doesn't give, you know, a crap about original. I was almost thinking of sweeten the deal toss these in there right but these alone are worth what that whole thing over there is worth that set so i'm not about to do that if i lose some money on it oh well it's fine it's a lesson learned so but i hope this video helps you guys out because it's just one of those things where you know you run into it um <clears throat> and this is this hasn't happened to me in a long ass time uh so i'm just looking out seeing if you know hopefully you can avoid my mistakes of you know paying <laughs> what i paid for this and this wasn't no hundred dollar purchase or two hundred dollar purchase because i was banking on those guys right there and those turned out to be repops those are what 200 roughly right right around there uh, on on ebay or anywhere else and then 
this three piece set is about what new is what 380 something like that 400 bucks let's just say 400 200 600 so i'm gonna put these online maybe on ebay or craigslist and probably just do 350 you know and then uh hopefully they sell for 350 i'll be taking a loss on that part there but you know i'm all right i made up for right those other ones that i got the original ones that, that i got over here they're uh, I can't complain, man. 40 bucks for those pair, 20 each, if you look at it that way, right? I can't complain. So, not not too upset. And as I mentioned, <clears throat> the other deal I got, which was the, the TAC housing, because that was really what I was after on that other deal, this TAC housing, with the... The tabs are on there, original, and the original dash housing for the dash cluster. I mean, can't complain, right? 350 for that with a working tack. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty humble about the stuff, but, I mean, when someone's posting something and they don't post it original or they post it and they're kind of vague about it, it's just one of those things, you know, better, better, better to walk away. It's just, th there'll be more out there and it's, you know, just question it, give it a day or two because, uh, watch out for those scammers as well too. Uh, I, I, maybe I told you this story, but I was, uh, I had a, I have a buddy in West LA and there was a guy in East LA that was tr selling a bumper guard and it was always over through email always over through text message and and he'd pick up but it was just like he didn't have much time to talk and so then finally uh we set up the meeting for my buddy to go over there and go pick it up and the guy never showed up so it's just one of those things where you know double check and and uh question everything honestly because it's you're gonna be spending three five seven hundred dollars maybe even a thousand dollars it's just like got to be careful you know scammers all day long out there all right that's it for me uh i'll be doing some videos eventually uh with this guy here that i'm going to clean up the the rear deck lid and the front uh, hood lid there i'll be cleaning those up coming up 2021 uh i'm going to take care of this little dent that's on this one here primer it get it ready but uh it's gonna sit that way for years until and it might be i might just leave it that way because as you know it's it'll stay in a better condition that way than if i start touching and messing with it so probably do that leave it alone until it's time to put it on this guy right here get it going all right everybody thought I'd do this video. Uh, I'm going to have a couple weeks off. I'm going to do some more things. I still got to order the door uh, hinges here that I still haven't done yet. Just been so busy with work and everything. And then uh, I'll show a video on how to do that. Uh, a lot of people like to take the, the front clip off because it's pretty easy to get in there. But there's a way to get in there without having to take all this off uh, and be able to put the new hinges on there. So uh, I'll do one door and then I'll show you how to do it and then I'll do the next door without taking everything off. So that'll that'll be time consuming. <laughs> All right then. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year and uh, see you in 2021.